when Alton Brown joined the team for their Thanksgiving food special, hey guys. they tested a bizarre culinary myth we didn't have time to show you. So, what can I do for you fellas? Well, we have a particular Mythbusters challenge we thought you might be interested in. We've been told that it is possible to cook a lasagna using nothing but a dishwasher. We've got to get some data. I mean, we've got to know a lot more about the oven, as it were, before well, we can build. Let's check out the dishwasher. Let's go. To have any chance of confirming this cooking cliffhanger, they'll need to know exactly what temperatures they can expect to reach and for how long. That's what we want to find out here. So I'm going to drill a hole in the side of the casing where we can insert a temperature probe or thermocouple while the dishwasher is going through its cycles. We also want to see what's going on inside. So we've made a piece of glass that will actually replace the door while it's running. We can't pull the door all the way off. Otherwise, none of these switches will actually work. But with the glass in place, we should be able to see exactly where it gets hot and where we want to cook our lasagna. There's nothing like a bit of hands-on research, and it's so much more fun than just reading the manual. I have always wanted to watch one of these things run with a pane of glass in it. This is like a fulfillment of a childhood dream for me. Oh! It's a prospect so enticing that, just for a minute, they've almost forgotten the myth. What I want to know is why there are more glass front. Oh, you know why? I do know why there aren't glass front machines, because they're noisy. And I would totally deal with the noise if I could watch this. I'd pull a chair up. It's like a lava lamp. Exactly. Except you get clean dishes out of it. <laughs> All right, the probe. Adam expertly inserts the thermocouple through the hole in the side. Perfect. And the wash cycle they hope to make a cooking cycle begins. All right, so now we're in the honest-to-goodness wash phase. What temperature have we got? It's hovering around 130 right now. It's uh, about 125. Well, that's getting up there. Yeah, I'd, I'd really like to see it get up to 140 just for, for meat safety. Prolonged uh, you know, time at that temperature would be good. Don't look at this for a long time. It'll hypnotize you. I look away every five or six seconds just to kind of clear my retina. But even after two hours at the maximum setting, this kitchen's heat stands at just 136, meaning it's time to get cooking on a refined recipe. Our dishwasher's temperature hovers between 130 and 140. How does that dictate what kind of lasagna we should make? We're gonna go with classic uh, lasagna ingredients. We're gonna cut things thinner than we might ordinarily. And as for the vessel, uh, we're gonna use something that is a little wider and longer than I would normally use in aluminum, which is a really good conductor. All right. This isn't the most dangerous thing they've ever done, but it pays to take care when your skills aren't as sharp as your tools. Don't try this at home. Ow! I'm kidding. I totally didn't cut myself. Under expert guidance, you can throw in a little bit of this Italian seasoning. The lasagna comes together layer by layer. Say went on the sauce. Huh? Yeah, went on the sauce. As Alton browns off the meat. Mmm, smells good and he's not fudging here. It's standard practice to saute the sausage before it hits the oven. Oh, yeah. When the boss calls a halt to construction. You're not afraid of grease, are you? <laughs> no. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Adam learns the true meaning of a packed lunch. Put that on there and squeeze the bejeebers out of it. No air in there. I think you got it. Right. I think it's dead. Good. All right. I just need a lid. Foil, heavy-duty aluminum would be best. And to make double sure that the lid doesn't leak, Jamie's rustled up something even Alton's never used in a kitchen, aluminum tape. Will it hold? Oh, yeah. This will hold. Seems like it's not going anywhere. I think we're good. I think that's as sealed as it can get. All right, let's wash it. Let's go. <laughs> the lasagna is locked and loaded into the pots and pan cycle. It's still anyone's guess whether that'll be hot enough to cook food, but at least the tray should be clean. And starting. You'll notice that we've turned the lasagna upside down, and that's because we don't want water to pool in our reservoir on top of it. We want the heat inside the dishwasher to be able to circulate as closely as possible all the way around the lasagna. The clock is running. Water's coming in, and uh, what we're thinking probably in two and a half hours, we'll be eating. Excellent. Excellent or inedible. You'd normally bake this at 375 degrees for around 50 minutes, not 135 for over two hours. And I might just add that you can't preheat a dishwasher. We don't just have to hope that this is going to work without any information about what's going on during the experiment. We have embedded a thermocouple right into the middle of our lasagna that's giving us a temperature reading. 
True to the testing, the temperature finally settles in the mid-130s. It's just a matter of watch and wait till hunger and boredom take their toll. So much for this being the new lava lamp. I think it's time. How long has it been? It is indeed time. Uh, two hours, uh, 42 minutes. I think we're there. You know, it could go a little longer, but I'm hungry. So let's eat. Let's go. Yeah. All right, here yeah. we go. There's always something satisfying about a meal you cook oh, yourself, yeah. and something ultra-satisfying about one you cook on a pots and pan cycle. There it is. Now, is this a culinary triumph or a tray full of tepid and tortured pasta? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, look at that. It's not exactly crispy on top. <laughs> It was never going to be crispy, Jamie. <laughs> why do you, this is why we can't this have is nice thing for a good time. <laughs> yes. It was it's a wet cooking method. We were never going to have that. I know. The test is in the taste. Or oh, the vegetables look done? It's perfectly serviceable. That's absolutely serviceable. That's delicious. A meal cooked in the dishwasher. And a good meal. That's quite good, actually. The cheese is melted. Everything's very tasty. I don't know that I would remove an oven and install another dishwasher <laughs> specifically for cooking. But, but in a pinch. In a pinch, you could do it. And on a bet, for sure. On a bet. That's it. We've settled the bet here. You can cook a lasagna in your dishwasher. So if you're happy to wait almost three hours for lunch, just one appliance can cook and clean up. Here, here.